What's up, yo? It's Richard, and I'm back with another video. And welcome to my YouTube channel, guys. And I'm so happy to share this message with you. Like, if you have looked like in the past, I have struggled with my YouTube channel. If you look in the past, I have struggled. I have even reached a point where I was rising, and you can see there's a four again, rise and four. On my shorts, I even started getting 10k views, 20k, and all that stuff. But what happened to my views? What happened to that view count, guys? What happened to the engagement which people were getting? What happened to the daily subscriber rate which was happening? And I'm going to reveal to you today the mistakes that I made on my YouTube channel and how I'm happy to be how my life is as a YouTuber with 500 subscribers. So let me tell you this. I just got to 500 subscribers and I hope you're watching this and I want you to be motivated by this. So YouTube is a platform where people are getting paid. So when I first entered YouTube, it was like three years ago, when people told me that you're going to get paid, I came in with high expectations, hoping that maybe I could get that paycheck. And I would become a millionaire like to do bad. But what happened there? No. First gym, I posted no view. And I was posting and I was posting. I started getting views, but I made a mistake. I changed the name of my channel. Please stop changing the name of your channel. Most most YouTube channels fail because of this. They change their channel name and they think that something good can happen. When you change your channel name, it goes back to zero. YouTube is no longer pushing your videos unless you have a big following, like someone with already a million views. But I have seen people with million views change their channel name. Their next video will not get as much views as their other videos. You know why? Because YouTube is pushing less than what it used to be because it's still getting used to the name. And many people may not click because of the name. The second thing I want to tell you what you're doing wrong is you are not sticking to your niche. So the problem we have is we change the niche because we are trying to get that high high income because we get, we get to that there's a cpm and we have to follow the cpm so that we can get a lot of money you want a six dollar cpm or ten dollar cpm i told myself i don't care what cpm i get i'm gonna post videos that make me happy so if you post something that you are happy talking about you're gonna exactly get what you want you're gonna exactly get a subscriber because you are doing everything from the heart and you get that energy can you feel my energy can you feel how i talk and i want you to understand to me i want you to feel this when i'm talking to you that's what you should do that's what it means to be that's what it means to be a youtuber a youtuber you must be happy doing the job if you're not happy it's hard for you to make it guys i was not happy for the past two years because i was doing a niche that i didn't want i was trying to talk about things that i didn't want that didn't make me happy of which i'm happy talking about the social things of the world because that's how i was always in i'm happy I don't care if I don't get views, but I'm getting those few subscribers time with time with time. With time, I'll get the 1K, 100K. But if I continue pushing, I know that by the end of February, I'll be around 10,000 followers because I will be pushing my content. It's about what my mentality has changed from when I began. And the third thing that I want to tell most people, most people who are starting a YouTube channel, they make these mistakes. And these mistakes are the ones that destroy their channels. They try to copy other people's content. Please be original. Be you. Don't mix faceless channels, faceless videos with head videos like what I'm doing here. Here, I'm talking to you like this and put a faceless. You are mixing. You're not sticking to what you should do. And most of the people, if you want to find a niche, please, if you feel like, oh my God, I'm not, I'm, I'm not happy with the niche. If you want to find a niche, please subscribe. I can tell you niches that you can get into that are cheap. Because most of us, the problem is we can't make a Mr. Beast type video. We can't do it. Because a Mr. Beast type video requires a lot of money. And you want you will need a lot of money. And I don't have a camera. I'm recording from my cell phone. Maybe when I get money, I can use a camera, a good camera, and I can get that video editor. But for now, People just get have to get used to me doing CapCut editing. And I don't like editing. That's the thing. I don't like it. So you just have to get used. If you like my content, then you subscribe. If you don't like, you can leave. I'm not trying to, to, to force anyone through the limit. Just let subscribers come. Don't buy subscribers. Just do as I'm telling you. And I tell you, you're going to get a lot of subscribers. Be real. People will love you. People will accept that. Most of us are not real. We are, we are faking all in the YouTube. And the other thing I want to tell you, you need to be patient. Most of, if there is anything that has taught me patience from till now, it's YouTube. 
Because if I tell you that I came like two years ago, just think about, just think about how, how happy I was at that time. Like, I'm going to get this channel monetized as fast as I can because I thought it was so easy. I thought it was easy. But YouTube showed me the hard way. It showed me the other way, which anyone has never showed before, which is you can't be too forward when it comes to YouTube. It will show you the real face. And it did. And guys, I'm happy now that I'm kind of getting engagement and views. And if you also want to get views, I'm telling you this. Just post what you love, memes, all the stuff. But I can tell you this. Post what is worth watching. And I can tell you my videos right now. I'm energetic. I know it's not totally 100% worth watching, but it's better than what it is before. If you think I'm lying, you can look at my old videos, which I used to talk like this. Those videos were big, guys. You just could not like wait for too long like what I'm doing right now. To I was not interested and I was not happy. I didn't think that, you know, I want to post today. You know, that. you must be consistent. Post every single day. Be consistent, guys. If you are a new YouTuber, Post every single day. I'm telling you, I know you're going to be doing post every week, post every week. Post every week is for people who have gained a high wide range. If you post every week, once a week, you are going to lose what we call views. Post each and every single day. This means each and every single day YouTube is suggesting your video. But if you are posting shorts, guys, shorts are harder than long form videos to be suggested. I want you to do this. Get someone like on Fiverr to at least like give you a shout out like it's just five dollars if a shout out then you can then you start seeing your account getting engagement 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 it's about just starting to get engagement it's not about getting all subscribers from five it's about getting engagement so that youtube will know where to start to suggest your videos so it starts suggesting to many people this video and you'll see that with time and i want to tell you this when you create your, your titles there was this application called yt tools the link is in the description. You can go and look it up. But guys, this app is super cool. This app is amazing, guys. This app is like one of a kind. It's like, you know, you can boost your views. But the problem with this app is it, it, you, you, it, those views which you buy from the app, they will drop down eventually. So I don't advise anyone to use this this system but in this app there is what they call the the seo which you must use for your youtube channel it will tell you trending things and this is what you need trending things and this is what i needed so i use this app it's free it's different from vidiq it's free you don't have to pay anyone you just have to you get 20 boosters and you can yeah you, sometimes you have to buy yeah there's nothing free in this world but it's way more advanced than vidiq is allocated because VidIQ is giving you titles, yes, it's giving you suggestions, it's giving you all that. But if you look very carefully, VidIQ is already telling you something that you already know. I figured that out like months ago. I used VidIQ and I used YT Shorts, these two apps, and TubeBuddy. And I used it by UI Two Shorts. It buried all these channels, but it was totally free. And that's the thing that we miss most of those YouTubers like. They, they just see this beauty outside the app and they get inside into it. They use mods of the money. You should use that money for ad revenue, for, for ads to run your ad. Don't use Facebook ads for your YouTube channel. Guys, don't do that. It's the worst thing you can do. I did it. And guys, people will not click. They only feel like YouTube, like Facebook, people from Facebook are stingy just to click. You know, that stuff. So thank you guys. If you love this video, the energy and everything, I will give it all. Please click the subscribe button to watch my next video. Where I'll be talking about other welfare. Maybe next time I'm talking about businesses. Maybe next time I'm talking about, I just speak facts. I just speak what the world needs to hear, not what they want to hear. I speak facts. And if you hate me for my facts, then please go and get a helmet. Life is hard, babe.